Hello and welcome to HITC Sport. So Mike Ashley has recently come out and declared that despite owning one of the most successful sports retailers in England, he is still unable to pump enough money into Newcastle United so that they might afford better than Jacob Murphy. Considering Watford just spent £18 million on a striker, are Newcastle fans buying this? And no, I'm not talking about a Sports Direct merchandise. Well, that was a terrible joke. You've obviously heard about the comments from Mike Ashley in the last couple of days. What are your thoughts? Uh, I understand it really. The Man City is not have got billionaire, multi, multi billionaire owners, and you just can't compete. So does he kind of compete with the top teams in the Premier League? Can anybody compete with the top top five, top six? I haven't got a Sheik running my team. The name of the Premier League, isn't it? It's all money, money, Russians, Sheiks. We've got um, we've got Mike Ashley, unfortunately. When we're looking to raise above Manchester City, Manchester United, we're looking to get on their level playing field. And he has no idea how fortunate he is if there's a word, such a word as lucky to own a club like this with the supporters here. My goodness, he should but more interested in this than selling training shoes. The fans don't want them to compete with Man City and them, they just want them to compete with the likes of Huddersfield and you know they're spending a lot of money, we're spending nothing. He got 120 million for promotion, so where's it all gone? He's only spent 30 million. He's a multi-millionaire and he promised Benitez the money at the end of last season and he's only given 30 million. I mean he says he doesn't have the money but do you believe him? Nah, no way. Look how many shops he's got. He'll have a few bid he can put aside. <laughs> I don't believe him. I think there's money sitting in the bank somewhere. There has to be. You've got multi multi billionaire. It's got to be money somewhere, hasn't it? It's not great by the fact that he's saying, like, look, there isn't that much money, but he is giving that for all he can. You know, it's good to see that he's not trying to interfere with it all. And he's not trying to just block transfers, you know, because he, you know it doesn't fit the business model or whatever. I hope he does, you know, put his hand in his pocket and take some money in because we need it because we need to make signings. I mean, Shelby's going to be bad for the next three games already. Um, you know, we've got two players injured. He, he has no idea of football, and he. He, he doesn't know how lucky he is to own a club like that there. What would you do if you were Ashley? Ashley? The first thing I would do, I would buy a centre forward. I've watched your Cassie United for 30 year plus season ticket holder. And it makes you wonder why I put my money in every year. When the club is not getting backed by the man at the top. He's saying the right thing, saying that you know, it, is, it is what it is. And we've just got to get on with it. Yes, you know, we're brought back to the Premier League, but just got to get on with it. And just think now, we're okay, maybe we can get some more players in. If, we, if the price is right, and I can see where he's come from, you know, he hasn't got this, he hasn't got that, he might be a billionaire, but again, you've got to balance the books, we're in the black, and we've just got to keep away from the red. The only thing I find disappointing is when you see teams like Bournemouth, West Brom, Crystal Palace, etc, being 30 million for a striker, 20 million for a striker, and then you've got us, who can't even put 14 million in, or Lucas Perez. If I was Mike Ashley, I would look through different eyes. He's only passing this way once, he's not here forever. It, that you never see no two bars in a hearse. There's nobody takes it with them. When he splash the money, give them on the money and, and build a good club up and get a better recognition. And then, then folk will buy Sports Direct stuff for, for, for folk will be interested and watch the game. I want the mold for about two, three years because he's not prepared about the club. You've got a good a, a manager in Benitez, who's a fantastic manager. You go he can walk away from this club anytime and get a top job anywhere in the world. Eventually, I think he'll walk. If he doesn't get the players in and the money he's being promised, I think he'll, he'll be away by Christmas. We'll never ever get another manager like the need this at this club, never. I mean, Alan Pardew's out of work, so where's the way forward for Newcastle? Do you stick with Ashley with his no money despite being a billionaire or...? Get rid, time to give it up. He says he hasn't got the money to keep the club going, so sell it up and let somebody else in that can. Will the Sheik fly over again and say I want that club? Like he did last time, chose another club? I don't know. 